This is Tom Myers, Superintendent of Bellevue Community School District in Bellevue, Iowa, coming to you with this week's Believe in the Blue update, trying to get some things to you in five minutes or less. Starting off today, Friday, we have uh, football today at Tipton. Our boys team is currently 5-0, and playing very well. Um, on Monday, we have another pack full night here that way. We have a cross-country meet at the Bellevue Golf Course. This one is hosted by Marquette Catholic. That starts up at 415 with middle school. With JV football at Tipton, then we also have the Vocal Festival for our, for the River River Valley Conference, uh, and that is at Durant. So uh, we'll have some people participating in that too, from the middle school through high school level. A great opportunity. We also do a similar thing with band in about another month. Uh, just a great way for our kids to see what other kids around are doing in our conference. With 13 schools in our conference, we can see a lot of different things and have a, have a lot of very positive exposure for ourselves, but also for our kids to see what other kids are doing that way and what other schools are doing. Um, we tend to rank very well when we compare ourselves to other areas as well. On Tuesday, we have a volleyball at Fresh Soft Matches versus Cascade here. We have middle school football at Monticello, uh, and that kind of takes care of that day. Then on Thursday night, October 6th, we have volleyball, and that's senior night with uh, against Comanche here at home. And uh, we'll have anywhere from uh, from middle school all the way through high school there. And we also have a middle school football game versus Cascade at home. So another busy, busy Thursday evening that way. We have a home football game next Friday as well. Um, a lot of things going on. I want to tell you to just check out Tom Meyer Facebook page, Bellevue Comets Facebook page. Uh, look at Twitter pages for Jeff Raker, for, uh, for the Bellevue Comets Twitter page, Tom Meyer BHS Twitter page whole bunch of different areas that way. Connect with what's going on. I'll be putting up, there's a, a performance, a fine arts performance down to elementary this morning. I'll be putting some things up about that. We try to get something on there uh, every day. Uh, usually it's multiple things in a day if you check it up. I encourage you to get onto that and really look at that and see what's going on. I can only tell you so much, obviously, that way. Um, just a couple reminders coming up here. Uh, October um, 12th and 13th, we have conferences. We will dismiss those days at uh, a three-hour early dismissal. Then conferences run from 3.30 to 8, from 12.30 to 2. We have a we have professional learning time for our teachers that way. Uh, one thing we're doing professional learning for our teachers is we're actually reviewing the book Mindset. Uh, really, as it says here, it's a... Uh, it's good for parenting, for business, for school, for relationships, just in general. Uh, it's uh, You can get it on Amazon for about nine bucks right now. Uh, it, just, it really talks about the kind of mindset you have. Is it a growth mindset or is it a fixed mindset? Fixed mindset means I'm at a certain level and that's where I'm going to be at. Growth mindset, on the other hand, means that, you know, I know where I'm at, but I can improve on that each and every day. So that's one thing there. I'm, I'm, very, I'm oversimplifying this tremendously, but just to give you an idea... Well, I'm just going to read you a couple quotes. I actually share these with my eighth grade students I'm working with that way. Uh, one quote in here goes, or one statement, I guess you'd say, is uh, it's not always the people who start out the smartest who end up the smartest. Um, what does that really mean? You know, uh, how, and, and how do you measure if someone's smart, as we would say? I, I don't think that's really a great term to use, but the point of this whole whole statement here ultimately is that it's how hard you work as you go through your life to improve yourself. I don't care whether it's doing math, whether it's doing science, whether it's cleaning the house, whether it's, um, uh, you know, uh, whether you're a football player, basketball player, volleyball player, whatever the case is. And speaking of volleyball, we beat Durant last night in five sets, which was, was another great win. But I guess getting back to this here is the whole aspect of just, you know, how hard am I continually working to be the best that I can be and not just being satisfied where I'm at. Another part here they talk about is, Creating that passion for learning, and uh, if you go around our school, you see some things up about you know passion with purpose, and we talk about that passion that people have. Uh, one step, another statement here is the passion for stretching yourself and sticking to it, even or especially when it's not going well, is a hallmark of the growth mindset. This is the mindset that allows people to thrive during some of the most challenging times in their lives. So it's really trying to develop that within each and every student here. Also for our staff to help our students develop that and for all of us to continue to, do, to develop that more and more, that growth mindset that we can achieve more, that we need to change, that we need to do what's best for all of us that way and really need to work hard and be role models. So really helping our students recognize that, that hey, you know what, no matter where you're at right now, let's move to get better that way. It's okay to fail. It's okay not to be able to do something right the first time. We're going to get better at it as we go. Just a real basic thing from Growth Mindset by Carol Dweck. You can check her out online and things like that, too. Um, but that's kind of what I have for this week. Uh, if anyone has any questions, feel free to call, as always, 
and we'll go ahead and kind of go from there as it hits five minutes. Have a great one, everyone.